devastated. I mean, it's, it's a horrible tragedy, and I certainly have never seen anything like this. Neighbors can get over the shock that a two and a half year old child is no longer a member of their community. After police say the child got access to an unsecured firearm that resulted in the accidental fatal shooting. From my front door could see after a while um, what I take to be a paramedic carrying a child from the garage to the ambulance. An emotional, heartbreaking scene for this quiet, tight-knit community. What do you know about the family? I don't know anything about them. So, yeah, they, I, I, I couldn't even tell you how long they've been in that home. Howell police will only tell Fox 2 that this case is still under investigation and no additional details are available at this time. But after searching for answers, Fox 2 was led to the city of Dearborn, where we have learned the child's father is a corporal with the city's police department. Fox 2 reached out to Dearborn police and officials provided the following statement. This incident is a very serious personal family matter, and we respect the privacy of the officer and his family during this difficult time. Investigators will not say who the unsecured gun the toddler found belongs to, but the investigation is ongoing. Back in 2012, the corporal made headlines when he was then an officer for Dearborn Police, and he pulled over a vehicle. He became extremely upset, condemning a passenger for not telling him of her HIV status so he could wear gloves. The passenger did receive a ticket for illegal marijuana possession, and the case soon became a legal matter, resulting in the city of Dearborn agreeing to pay $40,000 to the passenger. In fact, people with HIV are not required to tell police they have it. As this police investigation continues, flowers and packages of love and care are being left at the family's home. As a responsible gun owner with children in the home, you shouldn't have any sort of access to firearms for the kids. And Howell, Ingrid Kelly, Fox, 2 News.